Bueno. Don't judge me. We got powerlifting meat, tradition of Colossus, got some donuts, got some pre. Want to hit some big numbers today. Probably won't be any all times, so but we're gonna have a ton of fun. This is the best treat you've ever had in your life, big man. You can have one bite, that's it. Wow. <laughs> that's all you got. That's too much sugar, bro. Alright, I'll finish the rest. <laughs> Whatever. Whoa. <coughs> Time to get bucked up. Let's go, buddy. That's right. Me versus Jeremy. It's gonna be fun. We're all here. Powerlifting is just an amazing community. Just challenge yourself, set, set some new records. I'm excited, man. Let's That's go. Right. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Jeez! <laughs> oh, I'm too fired up and I haven't even had three. Lynn, probably your last on it. First and last. Time to get supercharged! Let's go! Here we are. We made it. We've actually been going to LA. We have a month membership, but you know, we want good bars, good plates, and a little bit more space. So we really hope this gym delivers. Let's go! So I've just been told that they don't know if they have enough weights for the three of us, so we're gonna have to see what we can do. Got a point. Too easy. Nice. So definitely pumped to be out here doing this. One thing I hate is when there's no sun or knurling, especially when you have like a more slippery shirt like this, because the bar can adjust on your back. You can get injured from that. It's not a big deal, but it's a good reminder to get super tight. And you gotta kinda deal with different gyms. Like you can wear the like bar shirt I have on the screen. I should have brought it, but I didn't. Also, my adductor's a little tight today. I have pulled in the past, so I'm being mindful of that. Obviously, you know, as I've advanced in my journey, I've balanced my ego with just being intelligent. So I wanna hit a big number, I'm gonna keep going, but if my body says to stop, I'm gonna stop. So let's see what we can get though. Let's go, buddy. Up, come on, up, 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 up. Nice. Atta boy. Hey, That's up. right. That's how you do it, bro. We ain't stopping. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah, thinking that I'm. Nice. That's super easy. Dang. <laughs> Really easy, but I think I'll be smart and not push this. I Jeez. Mean, I could probably get 540, I'd say, maybe today, but nice. I'll be excited to run it up again and definitely want to get in the 600s next time. I really do a good block. Beauty. Man, that's just my that dream, just being able to hit 500, but that's oh, going to happen later this year, so stay tuned for that. Good twos, I'm not getting too much pain. Up. Come on. Not today. Yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts Cause I'm, I'm about too to lost The speakers can't even handle me Give it what I got Nobody's gonna drain my energy And I will never stop I'm motivated by enemies Setting up shop So everybody remember me And though I am not going through life Regretfully I'd rather work non-stop What they call incessantly Than work some odd job Just to live life pleasantly Already got lost in my mind not so as we get into this heavier territory, it's important you kind of come to terms with failure. Like personally, when I get ready to lift, I tell myself like this could go up or worst case, it could go up. Jeez, I was not expecting that. So dumb. That's motivation, let's go. Nice. Dang. Oh, that would be good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Dang. I hate to make excuses, but this bar is trash and I have no talk. At a certain point, like, your muscles can handle it, but your grip can hold on, especially when you get a little sweaty. Like, we've been at it for like 70 minutes, believe it or not, which is crazy. I always forget how long these things take. We haven't even started benching, but move pretty smooth, so I'll take it. Okay. 
Yeah, so sometimes just the situation is like we went to Powerhouse Gym literally expecting like just there to be so many racks and like just good bars and stuff, but you know, sometimes things happen, so these are just kind of like PRs with where we're at. So one of my biggest tips when it comes to maxing out, and some people are gonna be like, what are you saying, is not to be so hard on yourself. And what I mean by this is we all have lifetime personal records that we accomplish, but a lot of times we go through different phases and we have current personal records, right? So I've accomplished a 475 pound squat coming in here today and only hitting 385. You know, it's a bit tough on myself, especially because I'm super driven, but what I wanted to get across is that during your current situation, you know, for a lot of people, for Josh, it's post COVID and making sure he's not getting injured, hitting these PRs. He's obviously hit a way heavier squat. You know, for Jeremy, it's being at a lighter body weight, shredding while maintaining his strength. For a lot of people, you know, if you're someone who's 190 pounds and you're 160 now and you're hitting some new personal records, that's a personal record within itself. Even myself, I actually just accomplished my first marathon, which is pretty cool in three hours and 15 minutes. I didn't strength train as much, especially when it comes to squatting and lifting because I was running so much. So for me to get back into this, this is a personal record. So stop being so hard on yourself. That's one big tip I have because a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not as strong as I am uh, or as I used to be. I'm not as big as I used to be. And you will be able to, you know, just use that as motivation instead of just using it as something that just kind of gets down in yourself. So that's one of my biggest tips. Get it, buddy. Come on. Show them what's up. Right. Drive it up, drive it up, drive it up. Lock out, lock out, lock out, lock out. Come on. Way better. Nice. Lock out. Come on, come on. Lock come out, on. lock out. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give it up. You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't never give it up. Nice. So bad. So I don't mean to complain, but... Yeah. And another super, super important tip is just to be following a workout routine. Because if you just go into the gym, especially when it comes to compounds, and just do what you feel like on that specific day, you're probably not gonna challenge yourself. But when you have something in front of you, and you have to say, hey, I gotta do three sets of eight with 225, no matter what, unless you're super injured, or unless it's just, it doesn't make any sense to do it, you still gotta get it done, right? So that's where a lot of people go wrong. When they're trying to max out, you know, um, all of our clients are getting incredible results because they're following a custom routine that's focused on progressive overload, periodization, um, you know, just the best biomechanically advanced movements to help them get results. So follow a strict program and you will get killer results. I never slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never slowing down, cause we're blowing up now. I never slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never slowing down, cause we're blowing up. Drive it up. Nice. I'm gonna call it there. I think I had maybe 50 to 100 more pounds in me at least. Usually I like to be above a 1500 pound total. About 1400, not here to make excuses, but being on vacation, I actually had COVID like a little over a week ago, which is tough, so I had to get through that, but it does feel good to overcome that. Still hit some big numbers, do what I can, and at the end of the day, not destroy myself doing it. Definitely got some big powerlifting plans in the future. Still some lifts I wanna get, 405 bench. Really wanna get a 600 squat, and I wanna get a 650 deadlift. So those are my lifetime goals, and I'll be coming for them. Another crazy but amazing tip is just to make sure that you're challenging someone or you're having some accountability, right? So Jeremy behind the camera, you know, about a month ago, we just decided to challenge each other and said, hey, when we're down in Miami, when we're down in Florida, we're gonna try to hit some personal records. I wasn't doing a whole lot, right? You know, coming off my marathon, I was just being a little bit lazy when it comes to the strength training. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta buckle down and I gotta get it done. So, you know, you can challenge yourself, you know, friendly competitions, you know, I've done some things betting, with, you know, buddies a couple hundred dollars and just being like, you know, just, hey, let's do this, right? So, you know, set some challenges, set some goals, even like, you know, um, a lot of people kind of struggle because they don't really know what numbers they want to accomplish. But if I say, hey, I want to hit a 475 pound squat by this date, that's going to go such a long way. So that's where a lot of people struggle. Set some goals, get some accountability, and it'll definitely go a long way. One last tip when it comes to maxing out, getting stronger and all that great stuff, especially with the compounds, is don't skip the small stuff. So a lot of people just think they're going to always hit compounds, always hit bench squat, bench uh, deadlift, and all that other stuff. So make sure you're following the accessories. That's where our programming comes in handy is we make sure that we're focusing on the smaller stuff and a lot of people skip out on recovery and mobility as well. So make sure you're gonna check out the next video. We're gonna be giving you five amazing tips to focus on recovery, especially if you're overloading, especially if you're going hard, hitting squats a couple times a week. You guys gotta make sure to focus on the smaller stuff to get to that next level. So, you know, that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. You know, make sure to stay tuned for that next video. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.